Oh, for pedophiles in Hollywood, it's a small world after all. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Maher is now more conservative than David French. We have been marveling at the slow red pill process of Dr. Phil and, to a lesser extent, Bill Maher. Bill Maher hosts this HBO show called uh, uh, Real Time, right? And, uh, and he's been coming out with monologues that have really cut against the liberal grain. And listen, we take it all with a big perspective check, all right? Because we know who Bill Maher is. We know that he's a man of the left. And we know that if he is giving this tough love kind of monologue to uh, his audience, it's really to help them win the election. That said, his monologue this Friday transcends politics and may be one of the most important things he's ever done or that you've ever seen because he actually said something out loud in Hollywood about Hollywood that you're never able to say. Watch this. I don't even like kids, but I also think it's every adult's job to protect them. Have you all been watching the Max documentary called Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV? Nickelodeon, it wasn't a studio. It was Neverland Ranch with craft services. Now, if you haven't watched this, I, I haven't. Meredith watched it and she won't let me because she knows how upset I get about these subject matters because when horrible things are done to children, I, it really does affect me emotionally. Uh, but my wife has watched it. And, and what it is, it's about the people who were involved in Nickelodeon and Disney shows to a lesser extent, but mostly Nickelodeon shows that absolutely exploited, harassed, abused, and assaulted those minor actors who worked on these shows. And it was all covered up. People went to jail. It was all covered up. And it was uh, encouraged by the studio heads. They were just fine sexually exploiting these kids. You wonder why these kids grow up and they're completely screwed up. Uh, and by the way, the parents are very much to blame at this as well, that they allowed it to happen because they wanted their kids to be famous. But watch what Bill Maher does with this information and what he's able to sort of communicate about a larger issue in our society. It is just scene after scene, clip after clip of the child stars of their day being subjected to obviously inappropriate, highly sexualized degradation. I was grossed out and I've gone camping with John Waters. Can I tell a quick side story? I promise it's only going to be 30 seconds. When I worked with Andrew Breitbart, Andrew was a guest frequently on this show. And one night he was on the same time John Waters was on. And after Afterwards, at the after party, John Waters, Bill Maher, and Andrew Breitbart were just in the center of the room, and the three of them were having this great time, laughing it up. And, it, and Andrew loved John Waters because he was subversive and artistic, and Bill Maher had a grudging respect for Andrew Breitbart, and the three of them were having a blast. And uh, the, myself and some of my colleagues from Breitbart, we were watching, and it looked it made sense to us. Of course, he loves John Waters, pop culture icon and a great guy. All of the staff members from Bill Maher's show, all these left-wing liberal, they couldn't stand it. They were disgusted. Why is John Waters talking to Andrew Breitbart? Why? This is outrageous. It was just so funny to see the venom in their eyes because they couldn't get it. They couldn't realize that John Waters, you know, transcends politics and actually respected Andrew for the avant-garde mischief maker that he was. He was right up John Waters' alley. Of course, John Waters would love Andrew Breitbart. Anyway, it was a great memory in it reminded me. All right, back to the story. It must be pointed out that when the evil governor of Florida was saying the exact same thing about kids and creepy stuff at Disney that liberals now find intolerable at Nickelodeon, he was dismissed as a hick and a bigot. Why would a kids content factory like Disney be all that different than the one at Nickelodeon? 35 Disney employees had been arrested for sex crimes. DeSantis wasn't wrong, but we're so tribal now, the left will overlook child if the guy from the wrong party calls it out. After Brian Peck, who was one of the lead creeps at Nickelodeon, served 16 months in prison for the molesting he did there, Disney hired him, naturally, to work on a children's series. For pedophiles in Hollywood, it's a small world after all. Now, so far, this has been all about Nickelodeon, Disney, pedophilia, and it's like horrific stuff. And again, in Hollywood, you don't say any of this out loud. So the fact that Bill Maher is using his platform to call out Hollywood for their hypocrisy, it's great. You just need to understand something. So far in this entire, what is it, three and a half minutes so far, the most objectionable thing that really drives them nuts is when he said DeSantis wasn't wrong. I know people who still work in Hollywood. 
they they think DeSantis is worse than Trump. That's what that's how they put it. If you think in those terms, because he's been able to use the power of his office to actually, you know, the don't say gay bill and all of that stuff. They hate DeSantis. But DeSantis wasn't wrong about this. Bill Maher just affirmed it. But now where he's about to go with regard to how Disney has injected pro-gay agenda storylines into their shows, specifically geared toward children. And then he pivots to where you're not allowed to pivot at all, to the drag queens. What you're about to see is quite possibly the bravest thing anyone in entertainment has ever done. And if you don't think it's courageous, ask yourself why Stephen Colbert and Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel, who have an opinion about everything, why they would never say this. People who believe in social justice have agreed this is wrong and this is bad and exposing kids to an adult world of lurid costumes and garish makeup borders on abuse. Now hurry up and get in the car. We're late for Drag Queen Story Hour. Maybe it's time to admit that sometimes Drag Queen Story Hour is more for the queen than the kids. And when I see a five-year-old tipping at a bar under a sign that says it's not going to lick itself, do I have to pretend that's cool in order to keep my liberal ID card? Sorry, I can't can't do that. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Maher is now more conservative than David French because he just dumped on one of the celebrations of liberty that David French loves to enjoy now that he gets paid by the New York Times. A little bit more here. If you want kids to be more tolerant, why not have handicapped people read them stories? Kids are more likely to encounter disabled people than drag queens in life. I've said it before, wokeness is not an extension of liberalism anymore. It's more often taking something so far that it becomes the opposite. Inclusion becomes promotion. And contrary to current progressive dogma, children aren't miniature adults wise beyond their years. They're morons. They're gullible morons who'll believe anything and just want to please grown-ups. That's why Endlessly talking about gender to six-year-olds isn't just inappropriate. It's what the law would call entrapment. And if you think that some of that isn't going on with gender in schools, you're not watching enough TikTok videos. There's a certain kind of activist these days who wants to take heterosexuality and lump it in with patriarchy and sexism and racism and tell kids, wouldn't it be cool if you were anything but that? It also seems to be the theme of kind of a lot of kids' books. Maybe we should think about giving kids a break from our culture wars for a minute, or at least until the election is over. Now, that last line there is the tell that maybe this is really Bill Maher just lecturing the people in his tribe, that they're going to ruin everything and elect Trump if they keep this up. But I think it may get lost on most liberals because they wouldn't watch to the end because they were so infuriated. But you caught that, a little cynical. And I think the only way he can actually get this kind of thing on the air is to say, you know, at least... Stop this stuff until after the election. I'm not giving any awards to Bill Maher, and I know I used the word courageous earlier, and it shouldn't take courage to actually stand up against child abuse and molestation. But sadly, the reality is, in today's America, in today's Hollywood, in today's upper echelon of elite institutions in this country, it actually does take courage to say exactly what Bill Maher just said. And that's why you very rarely see anyone with his kind of platform saying it.